Hi fellow YouTubers, this is ShadowFox733 with my second attempt at the review. I know uh, I know some of y'all didn't like it, and most of y'all didn't have anything to say. But I do thank that one person for commenting, and it did inspire me to uh, bring out maybe a better uh, better review based on this model. Since the uh, since I tried to find across YouTube and I couldn't find a review on it and where the reviews were sitting it wasn't really a live review. Just maybe picture by picture. But anyways, this is the review. You see the uh, the device right here. Looks pretty nice. I've moved there. This is the this is the uh lifetime map cards that you see. Now I switch to the other side but it does contain the key code in which it may not have been used, but anyways, it's not its service. Uh, it's more respectful that the uh, that I didn't show that anyways. So this is the USB cable. It's the uh, same USB cable kit that came with any other TomTom -tom devices when it went to a slimmer screen, a uh, slimmer device. This is the uh, car mount. Same thing as older TomToms. And this is the uh, this is the car charger that comes along with it. Now, uh, with traffic up, my well, last traffic update is not a uh, code compiled with the uh, thing, so there's nothing that you would actually tie into uh, TomTom, Tom, the home software. Because basically, this piece right here that I'm holding up is uh, is what gets the traffic updates. So it's actually with the uh, car charger overall. Now, this is the... Uh, what what size systems I did I do have the key block because the because uh, once again I would not want to have the mistake of anybody using it or trying to get their hand on it. But anyways, moving on. This is the uh, free fuel price to offer for one year service from Tom Tom. Works. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of okay, but it's kind of also pointless as well, because more or less, you go along the lines that you could find those things on on the Yellow Pages app on Android, and also possibility the iPhone as well. Let me know if let me know if I'm wrong with the iPhone. But anyways, on the device itself, take a look. You got the plan route. We got the browse map. I'm not really going to go into browse map because it's going to uh, reference my location and I wouldn't want to do that. You see the sound. Of course, that mutes it. Night. Anyways, hold on a minute. Sorry about that. I was gonna. Uh, we're close to something here. Anyways, the uh, if, if you see the day, if I switched it back to day, it would show the uh, daytime. It would show the day, the uh, the daytime view as in it would show more of the color if you chose night. I mean, let's just show a uh, just an example. You see. So it shows in the daytime. So it shows the nighttime. Now don't uh, take this too seriously because this is just an example. Now we're going. Now we're going back to there. Now you see you see the help icon right there, but the uh, Tom Tom label. And this is just the uh, drive to help, call for help, and done. But we're not going to uh, go anywhere because it's not an emergency. Now, if you see, you've got the you got the uh, done. If we went done, it would go back to the uh, map screen where the location is. Go back. Now we're going to go into options. You see, it, you see it right there, it says Volume Preferences. Now the Volume Preferences is actually just really, uh, uh, 
well, it looks like it's that length to car speed, and that, and this is what the uh, car speed is at, the percentage. I'm not going to go testing it. Hold on a minute. I'm going to get something to actually do uh, prop this up better. Okay, here we go. Much better. Got the volume preferences, but like I said, that's more or less for the car speed and other things. You got the brightness preferences in which, in which more or less, you're changing the uh, brightness of the screen. The home and favorites is the, uh, is where you set your uh, home and favorites. So, uh, so when you go into home and favorites, you, you got the add favorite, you can add a favorite, match favorites. So this is just this is just an example of what I have said. And you got the change home location. Now I'm not going to do that because the uh, cause either I don't have a signal or or I just don't want to do reference and location. Going to done. You have the driving view. Sorry about the shaking this. This is I'm just running I'm just uh, doing this off a cell phone. I know it'd be better off with the uh with the uh with the uh, tripod and such, but uh, it's not like I have one on me. This is this is in regards to the stats bar. Regards to uh different different uh, different uh, different options on uh what you, what you see. Or what you can see and such things. Back in options, you got the voices and images. Now, what? Now, what it comes with is actually minimal. So, but but uh, like like I said, you can uh, run it. You can you can run across uh, Tom Tom Home and start downloading whatever whatever you uh, want to download. Uh, well, some of it is is paid for and uh, some of it's free. So like the uh, the the color scheme, that's just changing the color in the map. Right, the color scheme, once again, change voice. The startup image is uh, does come up come with quite a bit. I mean, let's just show you a different example. You got anti theft. You got the battery. And you got the and you got the classic splash. You got the uh, change shutdown image, which is going to be the splash screen for shutdown. What you'll see when it's shut down. The vo like I said, in voice and images, it's actually a minimal. So the uh, so even though these are what is a way you have, you can add more. Like for example, I do apologize if you can if you couldn't hear it too well. The uh, but anyways, that was that was being some butthead. Just for just for a prime example of what Tom Tom has to offer. And the uh, you run through different options: switching the maps, corrections, managing up of uh, points of interest, speed cameras. You can disable speed camera, planning preferences. Of course, if you're planning your trips, though. The language, the clock, the units, factory settings, keyboard preferences. Again, this keyboard, that's the type of keyboard you want to see on there. Reset, you know what that does. Of course, the units and clock, yeah, it's obvious. Well, let's go back over this one, t one more time if you uh, didn't really get to see what the menu system looks like. Anyways, 
Let's get back on board here. Hold on, let's zoom out. Much better. Okay, anyways, overall overall review is that the uh, the GPS is a very good point A to point B. It is minimal on certain aspects of it, like uh, pictures and audio, but it is very generous of what you can put, what you can put on it. The the, uh, the GPS when it starts up does take a uh, few seconds to go, but like I said, it is well made, maybe Chinese made, but still. It is well made, and Tom Tom usually is very respect is very respectful of, or, uh, or or how or how well they do, and uh, and yes, they are comparable to Garmin as well. But this isn't about Garmin. This is Tom Tom. All right. Well, let me know how I did. I will keep this uh, video active, and I will keep the uh, my first attempt active, because if you notice, I don't have the box no longer, so uh, the first attempt does have the box in it. Alright, see you in uh, another videos.